What's up guys, Main Man Sweet here, hoping you're all doing awesome as always, and in case you missed it, I made a video on Armor King and Tekken 5 DR, I suggest you check that out if you want to see how crap he was before Tekken 6, because with Tekken 6 they really fixed the character and they nailed the character. So not only did we get like badass stuff, like the triple headbutt and the triple mud stomp, you know, like... Mo moves and animations that really define who Armor King is. Um, we got that in this game, so we nailed the animations and, and the personality, but he wasn't broken anymore. And when I say broken, I mean in the absolute worst way in Tekken 5 DR, where there was no way you could make the character work, because his tools did not serve their purpose, and they did not work together in tandem. Uh, he had no lows, he, 4 to 1 was a joke, I mean everything was just have you guys fought this uh, through at all? Probably not. Bandai Namco dropped the ball. But so finally in Tekken 6 we got a great Armor King and he was so fun to play. And again, I have to show you guys this throw that everyone who saw that throw on this guy's release was like... It was some of the most hardcore shit you'd ever seen. And of course it made your already huge love for Armor King grow just a little bit. Um, so big thumbs up to Bandai Namco on that one. Now I'm going to try and detail uh, how awesome he was. And Tekken 7 Armor King is also super awesome. So I don't think power level wise, I would say this Armor King is slightly stronger. And we're, we're going to get into it. But first off, the throws are still there. And the, the throws were there for Tekken 5 the yarn. You have a giant swing, you have a tombstone, two break. And in DR, you had the DDT for the 1 plus 2 break. But this was much better in Tekken 6. Because um, you also have the Armor King Driver, of course, which is a 1 plus 2 throw. Those of you who don't know, the Giant Swing, it looks like a 1 plus 2 grab. But it's camouflaged. It's actually a 1. Uh, you break it with hitting 1. And usually, uh, that's a throw where only one arm comes out, you know, in Tekken 7. So it's, it's, a, it's a camouflaged 1 break. So it's identical to a 1 plus 2 break, but to mix Giant Swing up with a 1 plus 2 throw in the old games, you know, you had to do a DDT, and this was telegraphed due to down back, down back input. They would see you twitch teabag a little bit, and they were like, oh, it's probably a DDT. Or Armor King Driver is also 1 plus 2 break, but you have to duck to do it. Uh, oh, sorry, it's back. You duck, and then again, you teabag a little bit. Uh, so he got this throw, and this fixed so much in his throw game. You see, you can't even see it, because this is a Hadouken, it's quarter circle back, 1 plus 2. So he got this throw, which was a fantastic mix with uh, the giant swing. So that was this. that's basically a 50-50 throw mix up, you, you could only guess. And uh, so his throw game was much stronger, uh, and of course he got the ground throw, uh, before this, his ground he had ground throws, but he would go up in mounted mounted position and do you know those uh, ultimate tackle punches. It sucked, they didn't do a whole lot of damage, and people could break out of it. Uh, so here he got this, and again, you know that's probably the most hard. That was the most brutal thing you'd ever seen. I mean. He upped the game, Tekken 6 Armor King, when it came to, I'm, ju I'm just gonna knock your fucking jaw into your brain bone, you know, <laughs> in the most hard way possible. Uh, so he suddenly got proper ground throws that did great damage, and damaged your opponent mentally. So throw a game, huge thumbs up. And when it came to punishment, uh, he was changed quite a bit, again, made stronger. Dark Upper was still the beast of a move uh, you knew. Uh, again, the shoulder, he got this in DR, uh, it's still a very good whiff punish. But what he got was a 12 frame punish, I mean, he always had the 10 frame, 2, 1. But now he got back 1, 2, which is a great punisher, and it still is. Uh, does big damage, it's got pretty damn good range, and it leaves, leaves Armor King at plus frames right next to the opponent. Because with Armor King, you don't want to knock people down. You want them to stay right next to you with plus frames, so you can either set up throws or, or some disgusting mid and low. Um, so back one two kind of saved the day, and then he also got sidestep two one, which is a much better move in this game than it is in Tekken Seven. 
Uh, and that is because, uh, first off, this is a great whiff punish. Oh, I stepped you. Bam, bam. Really good whiff punish move. Uh, check out JDCR's use of this. It's, it's incredible. Um, it's got pretty damn good range. Uh, first hit is safe on block. The whole thing is minus 12. I think it's even minus 13 in uh, Tekken 7, so Kazuya can twin piston it. But the thing is, you don't get anything from this move in Tekken 7 unless you do the whole thing. You have to do the whole thing and it launches. And it does so in this game as well. But in Tekken 7, I'm just gonna show a combo, something like that. No, sorry, but in Tekken 6. In Tekken 7, the first hit, it doesn't knock down. Here, it actually knocks down. And why is this good? Well, because it gives a guaranteed uh, round... Uh, what's it called? A round off. I think it's called. This is guaranteed. I mean, sidestep 2 alone was really good in this game. Perfectly safe. Long range, mid poke. That gives a guaranteed follow up. Not the case in Tekken 7. Uh, and even better, combined with the Okiseme system in this game, if they tried to stand, that happened. Very easy to do. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Classic thing. <laughs> Very easy to do. Drops it immediately. I should stop jinxing myself when making these videos. Uh, so sidestep 2-1 is a completely different move in this game. And it's much better than the iteration of a move you have in Tekken 7. That was actually the biggest tear from JDCR coming to Tekken 7 Armor King. What did they do to my sidestep 2 eh? That's actually what he wrote on Twitter. As a voice message. I clicked it and then I heard that. What you just heard. Um, and oh, this one's a big, bigger, a big one, uh, forward 2-1. Again, have you seen my Tekken 5 DR Armor King video? The move is useless, and now it's the move you know today. And this happened for Tekken 6. Suddenly, it's the mid-high, long-range goddamn punish. So yes, his punishment in this game, with punish, super strong sidestep 2-1. With punish, 4-2-1, super strong, and the back one too, leaves them right next to you. It, it's a completely different character to Tekken 5 The Armor King. Tekken 5 The Armor King was super bad, this guy is actually very strong. I uh, believe he was high tier in, in this game. Uh, and yes, uh, we gotta talk about his, um, his combo damage. His combo da I mean, you know his combo damage in Tekken 7, it's huge. But uh, he had a very special property in this game. I'm gonna show you guys what a Shining Wizard combo does in damage, but you never had to do that. Um, bad angle, I think. No, we got it. 80 damage. Mm. It's, a, it's a little bit technical with the bound. But you saw 80 damage. Okay. <gasps> this should do 90 after capital. 91. That's more than half life. So that's that's actually more than in Tekken 7, I think. Uh, but he could do something here that was very special that he can't do in any other game. And he got and that's the fact that he got a guaranteed unblockable at the end of his combos. Guaranteed. There's nothing the opponent can do. To avoid that. <laughs> Except for you getting a miss input on the easiest combo in the world. Can someone just take a gun to my fingers and shoot them for being traitors? I'm thinking the input, but you guys are letting me down. Uh, the only thing they could do to minimize the damage... Well... Uh, sorry, was do a back roll. So we're gonna set it to quick roll back. Quick roll back. There we go. So, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Oh, I dropped it. <laughs> I'm very sorry, guys. I haven't done this in a while, and the timing is kind of awkward, to be honest. And I'm playing on a pad, okay? You guys know, when I play on a pad, nothing works. So there, at minimum it did 18. And this did more damage than the Shining Wizard. And yeah, 
the Shining Wizard finisher. Um, so his combo damage is massive in this game. And of course, you, you could also set up traps like, okay, uh, as I just said, we, as we just established, they could back roll to minimize the damage. So it did 18. But of course, JD Star eventually figured out, ah, they back roll. So then he started doing this. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna stop. I'm not even gonna demonstrate this. But you can actually, if you're very quick, turn around. You guys have no idea how awkward this is. You can do that. Okay, it's not hard. But I'm playing on a pad. So it's really hard to hit two buttons at once. Three plus four. Um, okay, so yeah, we've covered the combo damage. It was huge. And now, when it came to his general poking, also just a huge step up from before. His downford one, minus three in Tekken 5 DR. In this game, minus one on block. Huge. And plus seven on hit. Yes, suddenly he has a functioning, I'm gonna turn off this, suddenly he has a functioning down for the what? Um, and then down two, went from the awkward back to input to down two. Uh, it was a good tool actually in DR, it's still a good tool here with uh, decent plus frames on hit. And on block it's minus two, so it's a, it's a good mid. Um, down, he got down back two in this game, long range safe mid poke. Uh, not to be underestimated. JDCR loves that move. Damac 1 plus 2, which is a mid that gives plus frames. It's very slow on startup, but uh, great tool. Huge range. Uh, a normal hit gives a guaranteed follow up. Uh, so, yeah, not to be underestimated. Uh, and then he also got... This was, this was useless in uh, DR because it didn't have uh, a second extension. So it was mid-high. You could duck the second hit. Here he got to mix up. You could mix it up with a mid. 1 plus 2, 4. That was great. Suddenly that string had use uh, outside of combos. 4, 3, 4, which was high mid for some reason in DR. Useless. Here it's mid-mid. Safe. Great! Perfect! Awesome string. Uh, Ford Ford 3 was not... Um, oops. No, no, no. Uh, uh, uh. Ford Ford 3 was not minus. It was zero. Neutral on block. So, uh, great tool. Uh, and, uh, of course, he got... Ford Ford 3 was also uh, now a homing move. Uh, wow, that knocked far away. <laughs> Uh, so, so not a minor detail. Uh, it's a homing move. And it's quite fast and good on block. And Alfred 1 plus 2, he got this homing move. Not only does it look super badass, it's got great range and it's mid. And it knocks down. So, uh, yeah, great uh, addition. Homing moves. Very important to have good homing moves in this game. And now, la, la creme de la creme, or the, the icing on the cake, his lows were useless in um, Tekken 5 DR. And now in this game, did he get good lows? Absolutely. This is a, the birth of down free, which you know King also has today in Tekken 7. This low is plus one on hit. It's minus 12 on block, but it's got decent rage. Plus one sets up a giant swing or other offense very well. Um, it, it's just a great low in my opinion. And he got down 4, which is Armor King's classic go-to long range low poke. That's really awkward to punish if you space it properly. You want to be somewhere around here when you throw it out. It's a little bit like knock this aura. You make it safe by staying far away uh, when you use it. <laughs> Not with, hopefully. <laughs> but it, this is a great low, fantastic addition to Armor King. And you remember his super important down back 4, which, believe it or not, in Tekken 5 DR, if they blocked this, oh shit, if they blocked it, he would stand up again. And you ate a while standing launcher. But here, just like King, you would drop to the ground afterwards if it was blocked. Uh, so, not a minor detail. 
Uh, it's a chunky low. He stands up again if it connects. So Damek 4 was rendered, rendered much more useful. And then Damek 3, which was also shit, didn't guarantee anything in, uh, in DR. Suddenly, uh, it doesn't trip on normal hit, it gives plus frames. It, it's the Damek 3 you know today. Uh, g gives a combo on uh, counter it. <laughs> Honestly, the easier combo is, the harder it is for me to demonstrate it to you guys. But the hardest combos, no problem. And so this was uh, Armor King and Tekken 6. And I hope you understand. I mean, you should really, out if you're interest, very interested, uh, take a look at Tekken 5 DR, that video of Armor King, compared to this video. And it's like... It's so easy to understand why he is so much stronger. Like, every single element of his tool bag was corrected. Already strong throws, much stronger, because he relies on throws. They have to be good, and they were made stronger. His punishment, absolutely made stronger. So, larger defensive capabilities. Poking, much stronger. Solid mids, the all-powerful down for one, down four. Suddenly they work as they should. Lows overall just didn't work previously, but now he had them. And of course, he still had the, the back one, uh, which had a kind of awkward combo in this game. Uh, is it still this combo, though? There we go. Uh, wow, I don't remember the combo. Oh wow, oh wow, wow. Okay, uh, whatever. But, uh, so, I hope this was enlightening, I hope I taught you something, and uh, I hope you have a nice day. Cheers.